to live under the ground and you'll see a badger a sniffing snuffling badger so shh don't make a sound Peggy Patch. And I'm Mark. Hello. Peggy's taking us to the New Forest today where there are miles and miles of trees. No shops or streets where people live, just safe, secret places for animals to hide and to build their homes. Yes, animals need places to build their homes, same as we do. And they find them here amongst the trees. Yeah, like foxes and rabbits and probably hedgehogs and of course the New Forest wild ponies. Hmm, yes, but we've come here for a very special reason. What's that then, Peggy? What, to see some badgers. Badgers, brilliant. Yes, that's right, badgers. They're very shy animals. They live in holes deep underground and they only come out at night time. And that's what we've come to see. Oh, brilliant. Well, we'll have to find Y and Poppy and then we can set off to find some badgers. Right, let's go. OK. <laughs> Badgers look like Peggy. Well, they're grey, furry creatures Ooh. with stripy faces. What do you mean? Stripy? Well, they've got a white stripe down the middle of their faces and a black stripe on either side of it. Mm. And they've got long noses and pointy ears. You? Have they got paws like I've got, Peggy? <laughs> yes, but they're much stronger than yours are because they have to dig deep holes in the ground to live in. Yeah, we see. What are their homes called, Peggy? Oh, they're called sets. Yeah, mm. sets. Mm. Did you hear that, Why Badgers live in sets. Mm. Yes, I know that, Poppy, because Peggy's just told me. And it's not just a hole, you see. Mm. A set has lots of tunnels and rooms, and whole families of badgers live down there together. Yeah. Ooh. You'd never guess that underneath here is someone's home. It's a badger set. A whole family of badgers live down this hole. Badgers are clever animals and they're very good at keeping their homes secret. But you know what Peggy's like. She knew exactly where to find the badgers in this forest. The badgers dig their underground tunnels using their strong paws and sharp claws. And then they go and find some dry bracken or dry leaves to pull underground to make a bed to lie on. <laughs> Here's Mark. Hey, Mark, could you come over here, please? Because I want to ask you something. Hello, why? What is it? Right. You know, Peggy said that badgers are very shy. Yes. And that they only come out at night. Yes. Well, if they only come out at night, and this is the daytime, mm -hmm. how are we going to see any? Because we go to bed at night, don't we, Mark? We do, but I think Peggy's got a surprise for us. And you know, Peggy, if she says we're going to see badgers, we're going to see badgers. Oh, great. I love surprises. Only problem is why. Mm. I don't know where Peggy is. Oh. Um, well, where do you think she is? No idea. I'll look for her this way. All right. Oh, right. Oh, he's gone. Oh, now where do you think Peggy is? This is Helen and this is Michael. And we're looking for Peggy, aren't we? Peggy Patch. I wonder if she's left us a picture trail. Should we have a look for some pictures? Yeah. Let's see. Let, well, let's have a look. We've got to be very careful looking, though, because Peggy's very good at hiding these pictures, isn't she? Um. Now, it's a good place to hide pictures as well, because it's in the forest. Just to have a, have a look, have a careful look. 
and see if I found There's anything. One. Oh, what's that? A rabbit. Do you know what it is? A rabbit. It's a rabbit, that's right. Now there's the peg and the peg was pointing down the hill, but what does the rabbit say? It says, come and find me. You'll have to look down under the leaves. I'm spiky and brown. It's another forest animal. Do you want to hang on to that, Michael? There you I go. I know what it I'll is. I'll hang on to the peg. The I peg, know peg is. pointed down there. What do you think it is? It's a rat hog. It might be a hedgehog, mightn't it? Because that lives in the forest. Now let's look. Where would a hedgehog be though? It wouldn't be up in a tree, would it? No, it's there. There it is. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, you've got it already. Oh. Let's have a look. Oh, right. The peg's pointing over there. Let's have a look. It's a lovely hedgehog with all his spikes on, isn't he? Let's. What's it say? Come and find me. Look hard, I said. Look where a badger might look for his bed. Do you want to hang on to that, Helen? Now, we're looking for where a badger might find he some might things for his bed. There. What sort of things, Michael, do you think that a badger might use Dead for his bed? Leaves. Dead, Dead leaves. Dead leaves, yes. That's, that's certainly going to be very soft, isn't it? Uh -huh. And some grass. I can see something. It's going to be amongst trees, isn't it? Let's uh, have a look. What can you see? Peggy. Oh, come here, Michael. Let's go over Peggy's bridge because we can see Peggy's den, can't we? Over here Peggy's bridge. That's it. And what can you see on Peggy's den? Badgers. Badgers. That's, That's right. it. That must be where the badgers are getting their bedding material from. Hello, Mark. Hello, Helen. Hi, Peggy. Hello, Michael. Hi, Peggy. Let's have a look. You've got a lovely badger here, Peggy. Thank you. Have a read. Let's have a look. A lovely badger. And the badger says, sit down beside me and close your eyes tight. Who says you only see badgers at night? <laughs> Have a sit hey. down. Do you want to sit down over there with Peggy? That's it. We'll put that up there, Peggy, because it looks really nice on your den. Thank you. There you go. Now, we're sitting down, Peggy. What, what do we have to do? Well, sit down beside me and close your eyes tight. Who says you only see badgers at night? Everybody ready? Can you close your eyes? Close your eyes, close Peggy. Close your eyes tight. Here we go. Now, open wide. Can you see them now? Some of them are above ground already. And some are underground in their set. What a noisy eater. We're playing our badger game here. Now, Michael, do you want to start off? You can shake the dice. We've got badgers, each got a badger, and they're living underground, but they're hungry and they want to get out to get some food. So we shake the dice. What did you get? A two? You're on two, so you're already up towards the ground level to get yourself some nice worms. My go now. Let's have a look. What can I get? 
Five there. One, two, three, four, five. Now my badger can almost sniff the worms on the top now. We're nearly there. You'll go, Helen. One, well done. What's your badger's name? Got a name for your badger? No, think of a name for your badger. Mine's called Mabel. You'll go, Michael. Oh, look. I know who this belongs to. One of my badger friends. He must have been sitting here to groom himself. You know, that's a tidy up. Like this. <sighs> Mark! Mark, where is he? Was Mark, that you, was that you shouting oh. for me? I thought I recognised your nice, quiet little voice. Yes, it was. Now, I need you to help me, please. Why, what are you doing? I'm making a mask. Ooh. A mask? What, mm. out of this? Yes. I'm going to make a badger mask so I can pretend to be a badger. Mm. But I'm having a bit of trouble. I need to cut it out. Could you do it for me, please? There's a pair of scissors in my rack sack. You know me, I always help you out with these yes. things, don't I? Now, where have you put your scissors then? I don't your You've been collecting all kinds of things, haven't you, mm. while you've been out on your trip I've in the new place? I've been busy. Place. I can't cut anything out with a oh, banana, Poppy. My banana. No, can't do anything with the banana. Mm. Oh, here's the scissors. There oh, we are. Good. Right. We Wonder where scissors. I put my banana in it. Now, a badger face. Well, we, it's got to be pointy. So You're folding the paper, Mark. Well, I've got to, to make a pointy face. Oh. Yeah, I've got to make a pointy face. So here we go. Hmm. This will be the sides of your face. Around there. You've got quite a fat little face, so we're going to have to make Excuse it quite me. wide. Well, it is. All cats have fat faces. <laughs> there we are. Right now, You're making an aeroplane. Well, it's sort of like an aeroplane, but I don't think this would fly very well. Do you want eye holes so you can uh, see? Yes, please. Mm. Right, okay. So I don't bump into things. No, we couldn't have you bumping into things no. as a badger, because no. badgers don't bump into things, do no. they? So let's put some eye holes in eye there holes. for you, and one in the other side. Two eye holes. That's useful. It's good mm. because you have got two, haven't you? Oh, I yes. have. Mm. One on each side. Mm. There we go. Pull that bit off. Ooh. What do you think? Sort of, oh, sort of getting yes. there, isn't it? It looks just like a badger's face, or that's what I wanted. Well, mm. it's the right shape, but it's not mm. the right colour, is it? Because they have stripy faces. Have you got any pens or crayons in your bag? Oh, yes, yes. Get a yeah. crayon, a black one. Mm. We could do his stripes. Oh, binoculars. Have you seen anything nice? No. No? Crayons, crayons. Don't, don't take everything out, because well, it took me hours. You've got so much in here. You've got cat pack. food. You've got everything in here. Oh, look. Heavy. Here's a crayon. There we go. Black That's one. It. Perfect. Now, they have stripy face, don't they? And the stripes go through the eyes. So the eyes. Let's put a nice black stripe down there. You're good at colouring, aren't you? <laughs> it's easy when it's black like this, isn't it? There Mind we go. Fingers. I've got it all over my fingers. Oh. Look, it's very dirty colouring in black. Mm. And you need a big black nose. Black got nose. Very good sniffing I've nose. I've got a brown nose. Look. Yeah, we won't have when you got Look. the mask on. I know you've got a brown mm. nose, but you won't have when you got this on. No. You have a nice black nose. Now, <gasps> look at that. Oh, look! <laughs> I'm a badger! I'm a badger shh, pig! Shh, shh! You'll disturb the real badgers. Oh, right. Sorry. I better practice being a very quiet badger. Yes. What do badgers do? Sniff. <laughs> a story about a badger. Shall I read it to you? Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, please, Peggy. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, Mr. Badger woke up with a start. Oh, goodness me, he said. Whatever time is it? And he looked at his big red alarm clock. His big red alarm clock said 12 o'clock. Goodness me, he said. It must be midnight. And midnight's the proper time for old badgers to be out and about to find their dinner. Mm -hmm. Funny, he thought. I don't feel that peckish. But up he got, and off he went, along his tunnel, and out of his set, and up into the world above, where the trees were tall, and the bracken, and the grass were deep. But when he got there, everything seemed a bit strange. The forest wasn't dark and quiet like it usually was. 
the birds were singing. And they didn't usually do that, not at night time. And though Mr. Badger hadn't got very good eyesight, he could see that the sun was shining. And it didn't usually do that, not at night time. No, Ooh, no it doesn't, does it? No. Mm. And <laughs> he could smell someone coming. It was a little girl and a little boy walking through the forest. And they didn't usually do that, not at night time. Mr. Badger was very surprised. Just then, he saw his friend the rabbit. Good morning, Mr. Badger, said the rabbit. And he looked a bit surprised too. Good morning, said Mr. Badger. What do you mean, good morning? It's twelve o'clock. Well, I know that, said the rabbit. And twelve o'clock is midday. Twelve o'clock is midday, said Mr. Badger. I thought twelve o'clock was midnight. Well, it is when the moon shines, said the rabbit. But when the sun shines, twelve o'clock is midday. And that's what it is now. Goodness me, said Mr. Badger. Then I shouldn't be here. And he lumbered back down his tunnel. Down in his set, Mr. Badger got back into bed and looked at his alarm clock. Silly thing, he said. And then he went back to sleep and slept the day away till it was really twelve o'clock midnight. Because that's the proper time for all badgers to get up and find their dinner. You? <laughs> oh, what a silly badger. Hmm. He'll have to learn to tell the time properly, won't he? <laughs> well, I don't think real badgers would make that mistake, why? You see, real badgers don't need alarm clocks. They're wild animals, and wild animals always know when it's safe to come out to hunt for food and when to stay hiding. No, the real badgers are lucky to have forests to live in, aren't they? Mm. Mm. Wild animals need wild places. And squirrels or ponies <laughs> or giraffes or anything. Yes. Or... Oh, there's the bus bell. Oh, well, we'd better get back to the bus. Well, you two go ahead. I want to have a last look in the forest. See you later. Oh, bye, Peggy. Bye, bye Peggy. Mm. Bye. Bye. <sighs> Here in the forest, wild things all around. Foxes in the bracken, badgers underground. Oh, there you are, Peggy. Are you going to the bus? Oh, yes. I was so busy thinking all about the wild animals living in this forest, I nearly forgot. <laughs> I know. It's been a brilliant day. Thanks very much for bringing us to see the badgers, Peggy. Oh, you're welcome. The badgers are great, aren't they? Oh, but I suppose it's time we went home now. Poppy and Wire are already at the bus. Are you going to join us? Um, all right. But I won't be long. I'll just go to my den first. OK. It's time for us to go now, but first, before we do, I've got to put something in Peggy's patch pockets to remind her of her day out with the badgers. Now, Poppy's badger mask should give her some very happy memories, so let's put that on the patch pockets. There we go. Peggy and her friends will see you in another patch soon. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Way down there, we know who's around. Badgers with cubs, living underground. So it's back to the bus without making a sound. Goodbye. <laughs>